Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Today I'm going to show you a little bit uh, of an application that's called uh, Messages from Xideas. It's a, an alternate text input method. Now, with the iPhone, you wouldn't think that an alternate text input method they would allow that to happen on the native keyboard itself. So, what it does is there's a dedicated application for this that does not replace your keyboard. However, it does have uh, much different functions for you. So let me just go through a walkthrough. So I just started the application, and um, there's an about page, tells a little bit about it, and there's a white paper in the link on my review that I recommend you check out. It has a lot of good information in there. There's a help section in here that uh, is a, a nice guide that talks to you, that shows you what it's about. I highly recommend the quick start guide. And as you can see, it's an animation that kind of shows you what this uh, alternative keyboard is all about. Now, I've been using this on my Palm devices since 2002, back when you actually purchased overlays that went on top of your keyboard uh, graffiti area on the Palm, and then you would uh, tap and slide and do these kind of things uh, to get this functionality. And then I moved on to using it on my pocket PCs. And it's definitely one of those ones, as you can see, that does require a bit of uh, a learning curve. However, once you learn it, you pretty much uh, can get it down. And I'll show you a kind of a demo. Um, I'm averaging, I haven't used this application now since I've had hardware keyboards for about a year and a half. Uh, I just picked it back up a couple days ago, started to use it again on my iPhone. I'm up to like 22 to 25 words per minute, which is, is pretty good and pretty accurate. So let's just, I'll show you the setup here. There are some settings that you can have. Uh, as you can see, you can have four types of fonts, four sizes, and four weights of those fonts. Um, some keyboard sounds, capitalization. Actually, I'll turn on my volume because I think I have the keyboards enabled. And then the drag, and you'll see when, uh, when I use it, the different drags that goes on with it and uh, how you want to customize that to you. So this is a, a look at the keyboard. Um, in the view of the letters, A N I H O R T E S are the main letters. You can see there's alternate letters around like the center one and then the outside ones. There's also punctuation. If I tap this, there's the numbers and then also the same punctuation. Okay. So that's the keyboard. Now we can turn off the punctuation there or turn it on just by a toggle on the space bar at the bottom there. And then when you go into the numbers, it's shown automatically. So it depends if you want to uh, have the punctuation there in the letters or not, or if you want to just save that for later. Some of the main punctuation, like commas, period, and colons, and um, apostrophes are shown here. It's kind of uh, easier if you're doing fast work to, to not be busy with that. But as you'll see, it's really a learning thing. So what you would do is you would uh, go ahead and you know enter some text, just like... Uh, I'm pretty fast with the keyboard just because I've, I've used it before. Um, so it's all done by taps and slides. So you either tap the keys or you slide to tap the other letter. Right? So you just tap, tap the middle and slide in that direction. And um, large space bar there, backspace, enter, and then tap here for numbers and slide for the different punctuation. Okay. So as you can see, it does take some learning to get to, to do it, but what it's optimized for is to maintain in the center without using a full QWERTY, which is designed really for two hands. Now what you would do is you would enter a whole bunch of this text, and then you would tap this flash icon. Now there's, as you can see here, a couple of different, a few different options. One is Twitter. In the settings on your iPhone, you set up your Twitter account in the message ease uh, area. So that if you enter that and tap Twitter, that posts that message to Twitter if you have a connection. If you write up some text and say email, it starts the default program and then paste your email into the email message. Let's go back out to messages again. Okay, and then if you would take that same text and type search, it would open up the Google search bar in Safari. And if you tapped Browse, it would open up the URL entry field in uh, Safari. Now, for me personally, I do some of the, I do actually do some of these. 
However, I also would like to use this for text messaging. So what you can also do is just enter a bunch of text and it supports all the same iPhone uh, functionality. So you can go select all, copy, and then you could paste it into uh, a text message, into Quick Office, documents to go, uh, your notes, wherever else. So you can use this for pretty much anything. I would like to see a quick button that just says paste and it would do all that copy and paste for me or uh, select and copy for me and then I could just go into the program and say paste. So it would be nice to have a button that said copy. I tap copy, it selects it all and copies it just like it's doing in an email but it just puts it in the clipboard for me. And one of the last things that I highly recommend you try out is learn messages. And as you can see here there's a good few different games. There's a start here which will just have you tested um, with the main ANI uh, keys, words with those keys without any slides. Then there's some center drag, center slides, so then you're in the center area sliding out. Then there's the outer one which uses the outer keys and slides in. And then there's some common words which I'll run through here, which is uh, just a bunch of different common words. Um, which is using the slides and punctuation. And then there's the Champions Challenge. Now the champion Challenge, there's a contest where if you can get over 15 words per minute, then you can be entered into their challenge for possibility of winning up to $10,000. So I'm going to work on some of my, uh, some of my uh, capabilities and see if I can get entered into that contest as well. So let me just show you the common words. Now if I tap that, it gives me a little pop-up and it will give you a pop-up in each one of these kind of telling you what's going to happen. This one says all tap and drag letters are used. This is good preparation. In the championship level they use the punctuation. So this one does not. I've turned that off. Now let's see how fast I can uh, tap away. So we have to do these words and make sure you do a space each between each one. The hardest part about it is uh, bouncing back and forth between looking at the word and then coming down here. As you can maybe see up top, it is uh, tracking which ones I get correct. And then it gives a, a red letter when I miss the letter. And then you gotta make sure you keep on going, otherwise you can get a whole bunch of letters in the wrong order if you don't pay attention to that. So then I got, uh, as you can see, your speed is 106 characters per minute or 21 words per minute. So that's uh, that's kind of what it did. Now if you go to champions, it says you can use punctuation, use the pro version, and score for higher than 15 words per minute to qualify for the championship. Um, I have to check. I'm not quite sure what the pro version is because the only version that I saw was this version to download for free. So I'll have to go and check and see... Uh, if there's a paid for pro version to uh, enter the competition. So that's a look at messages for the Apple iPhone as an alternative text input method.